If you're a gamer, a creator, or anyone who needs consistent performance in Windows 10 or 11, you've probably experienced micro stutters, strange hitches, or sudden drops in CPU usage during gameplay. And one of the biggest hidden causes of this problem is CPU core parking, a Windows power saving mechanism that literally parks CPU cores during light workloads. Today, I'm going to show you how to disable CPU parking the right way, without breaking your power plans, without any sketchy scripts. We're going to use park control and built-in Windows commands, and a few clean reg tweaks that unlock hidden power settings. Let's jump straight into the optimization. Step 1. Install park control and prepare your power profiles. Before we start disabling CPU parking, we need to ensure Windows can access all required CPU power parameters. Some systems hide these settings depending on manufacturer or Windows build, so we start by unlocking them. Install Park Control. Download Park Control from Bitsum, official site only. Park Control gives you real-time visibility into CPU parking states, processor scaling behavior, and frequency responsiveness. You can enable or disable parking per power plan, safely, cleanly, and instantly. Once it's installed, open Park Control and switch to the drop-down labeled Power Plan. You'll see common plans like Balanced, High Performance, Bitsum Highest Performance, and Ultimate Performance if available. Recommended Plan for Gaming Bitsum Highest Performance if you have it. Or Ultimate Performance. We'll enable this later in the script if you don't. These two profiles give unrestricted CPU behavior. Balanced is not recommended. Aggressively parks cores. Park Control allows instant, safe, non-destructive toggling of these behaviors, which is exactly what we want. Step 2. Disable CPU parking, frequency scaling, and idle slowdowns. With Park Control open, it's time to adjust the most important settings. CPU core parking off. Set both AC and DC values to 100% unparked. This ensures no core ever enters a sleep state during gameplay. CPU frequency scaling off. Disable CPU frequency scaling or set it to 100%. This prevents the CPU from trying to downclock itself at random. If there's a CPU idle states, change it to disabled or set to minimum. These settings introduce latency when switching between active and idle modes. Once these three are disabled, apply your settings. Your CPU should now run fully unparked, fully active, and ready to respond instantly. This single step alone usually gives a noticeable FPS boost, but we're going further. Step 3. Unlock hidden CPU power settings using Regedit. What this does, Windows hides many advanced CPU power controls by default. These settings already exist in your system, but they are invisible. By changing one small value in the registry, you make these hidden options visible inside Windows Power Plans and tools like Park Control. This does not overclock your CPU and does not increase voltage. It only reveals existing options. Open Registry Editor. Press Windows R. Type Reg Edit. Press Enter. Click Yes if User Account Control asks for permission. First setting, CPU Parking Min Cores. Navigate to this path. What to do? Right-click in the empty space. New DWORD 32-bit value. Name it Attributes. Double-click it. Set value data to zero. Click OK. This reveals the CPU Parking Min Cores option. Second setting, Processor Idle Disable. Navigate to Do This. Create or edit DWORD 32-bit named Attributes. Set the value to zero. This reveals the Processor Idle Disable option. Third setting, Processor Performance Boost Mode. Navigate to Do This. 
create or edit DWORD 32-bit attributes. Value, zero. This reveals the processor performance boost mode option. After you finish, restart your PC. After restarting, go to Control Panel, Power Options, and click Change Plan Settings. Click Change Advanced Power Settings and expand the Processor Power Management section. You'll now see the new options that were hidden before. Step 4. Add Ultimate Performance Power Plan, CMD Plus Tweaks. Some Windows systems don't come with the Ultimate Performance Power Plan enabled by default. We'll unlock it using Command Prompt, then tune it so your CPU stays fully responsive at all times. Open Command Prompt as Administrator, then Run. This adds the Ultimate Performance Plan to your system automatically. Once it appears, it becomes available inside your power settings and can be selected like any other plan. Next, optimize the power plan itself. Go to Control Panel, Power Options, Ultimate Performance, Change Plan Settings, Change Advanced Power Settings. Update the following values. Processor Power Management, Minimum Processor State 100%, Maximum Processor State 100%, Processor Idle Disabled, Processor Idle Demote or Promote, zero. Processor Performance Boost Mode, aggressive. Processor Parking, Min Cores or Max 100%. PCI Express Power Settings, Link State Power Management, off. Wireless Adapter Settings, Power Saving Mode, Maximum Performance. Multimedia Settings, Optimize Video Quality. USB Selective Suspend, disabled. With these settings, your CPU avoids downclocking, core parking, or power saving delays. Everything is tuned for instant responsiveness and low latency, which helps maintain consistent frame times and smoother input. This is the same style of tuning commonly used on high refresh competitive gaming PCs to keep performance stable under heavy load. Step five. Validate results and measure latency. Latency Mon Guide. After disabling CPU parking and tuning power settings, it's time to verify everything is working properly. We use Latency Mon, the industry standard tool for analyzing system latency, driver responsiveness, and real time performance capability. Install Latency Mon. Launch it, then click Start. Let it run while you browse the web, open Discord, open a game, Alt-Tab repeatedly, play for a few minutes. Latency Mon will show DPC execution time, ISR latency, hard page faults, CPU frequency throttling, driver delays. What a healthy system looks like. No CPU throttling, no parked cores detected, average latency below 300 microseconds, no drivers with huge spikes, consistent CPU frequency graph, no warnings about real-time audio being impacted. If latency mon shows Phi DPC spikes, check network driver, killer or Intel, GPU driver, NVIDIA or AMD, ACPI.SYS, USB controllers, storage drivers. Disabling CPU parking dramatically improves how these drivers behave under load. Why this step matters? You are not guessing, you're verifying. This is how pro system tuners confirm stability and low latency behavior for tournament PCs. And yeah, by following these five steps the right way, not using dangerous scripts, not deleting system values, you've achieved zero parked cores, faster CPU response time, boosted 1% and 0.1% lows, smoother frame times in every game, reduced input latency, more stable FPS in competitive shooters, better system responsiveness overall. And that is it for today. Hope you liked the video. Until then, thank you for watching.